Greetings wrestling fans, welcome back to another discussion video. Now, I was going to make this yesterday, but unfortunately I got very busy, so I had to postpone it to today. Yeah, I could have done it a bit earlier, posted it up a bit later in the day, but this is going to be coming up somewhat tomorrow. And so, I want to get this off my chest real quick. After watching Monday Night Raw, it is very clear to me what WWE truly thinks of the women's division. Now, some of you may be asking, Patrick, didn't you say you were taking a break from WWE? Why are you still watching it? You made a video saying you were, you were done with it. You weren't going to watch it anymore. I only watch for the women. That's really all I watch it for. I don't really care for anything else, but... So, but yesterday... It's pretty much official. Well, even today on NXT, they've made it very clear by breaking up one of the only tag teams... That, one, of the, one of the most the only legitimate, legitimate tag teams they have left in Toxic Attraction. Like, instead of moving them up to the main roster, now let's break them up and make them single stars. But, but all I'm going to say is this. But all I'm going to say is this. WWE clearly do not care about their women's division, and here's why. And I know people love Lita, but I'm sorry. People are fickle. People are fickle hypocrites. I've always seen people say WWE should always be focusing on the future of, of, of future of WWE and not bringing back legends from the past, like Goldberg, for example. But for some reason, it's okay for Michelle McCool to come back. People are clamoring for Michelle McCool to have a full-time run. No thank you, she's retired. I'm fine with her making appearances in the Royal Rumble. I'm fine with her making appearances in the Royal Rumble. That's all she needs to be there for. She does not need to come back full time. Bringing these people back only damages their legacy. People say, oh, Lita's back because Bailey has always said that Lita is one of her dream opponents. Okay. So what? Okay. Cool. But does that mean I, as a viewer, want to see this? I don't... Like, what the wrestlers want, fine. If it's something they want, fine. But as a viewer, I don't want to see this. I do not want to see Lita coming back on my TV screen. She's a legend. She's past her time. People couldn't stand seeing Goldberg coming back. People didn't like him coming back in 2017, winning the Universal title from Kevin Owens. People didn't like him coming back, squashing the Fiend. Every time Goldberg came back, people always groaned and erred and why whenever Goldberg came back. But why, but why, but why is it okay for Lita to come back? Why is it okay for Trish to come back? I'll tell you why it's okay for them to come back. Because the fans love them. The difference is, is that we don't like Goldberg. We like Lita. We like Trish. That's why I'm perfectly fine with seeing them coming back. That's why I want to see Trish Stratus versus Sasha Banks slash Mercedes Monet. That's why I want to see Lita versus Bailey and all these other people. I don't give a flying tooth nozzle. If you are a fan of these people or not, I literally do not care if you are a fan of these people. You can be a fan, but still be honest and say, you, these people should not be coming back. These people are legends. We should not be seeing legends in the year of 2023. We had, we had Raw 30 a few weeks ago. We just had Raw 30 a few weeks ago. You couldn't have Lita appear then? You couldn't have Lita appear then? You couldn't have Trish appear then? You couldn't have the Bella Twins appear then? But no, we but no, we scrap the steel cage match and waste everybody's time with a useless match between Bianca Blair and Sonya Deville that did completely nothing. 
bringing back Lita on Raw 30 was the perfect time to bring her back. To celebrate the legends, that's when it's fine to bring back Lita. Bring back Trish and the Bellas. That's when it's fine to bring these people back. But no. We need to bring Lita back after Raw 30, because apparently we need to set up a potential match of Becky Lynch tagging up with Lita and potentially Trish Stratus to take on Damage Control, potentially at Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania. No freaking thank you. Why am I seeing this? What, what, why is it, what? I swear to God, I swear to God, why, why, why are we seeing this in the year of 2023? I just don't get it. I just do not get why this is acceptable. But, but, but Vincent Mann was the one that always brought back all the legends. Can't blame Chip, you can't, you can't blame Vincent Mann for bringing back Lita. It was, it was all Triple H. It was all a Triple H idea. But people will find a way to blame on Vince. Triple H is no different to Vince McMahon. Lita is just taking up TV time from other women. But Patrick, we had a fatal four-way. We just, we had a fatal four-way. What do you mean Lita's taking up TV time? We had a fatal four-way. We had, we had... We, we had bloody Chelsea Green and Oscar Man. We had Chelsea Green and Oscar Man. We, they, they were on TV. Even though Lena was still on TV. I don't care. I don't care. Do I care about Chelsea Green? No. She sucks. She's cringe. She's cringe. You expect me to care about Chelsea Green? Candice Lee Ray is pretty much a jobber at this point, always eating the pins. And I want to like Candice, but WWE has given me reasons to not care about Candice. But sure, let's have a returning Carmella win a Fatal 4-Way. We all knew she was winning when they announced that she was coming back. I even said the day before Raw happened, I even said the day before Raw happened, I said, if I'm a betting man, Candice LeRae is the one that gets pinned. I tell ya, give me my money. Give me my money. Seriously. The state of the women's division is god-awful. And I don't care how badly people want to defend this. It's not acceptable to have legends in the year of 2023. I didn't like it when Goldberg came back. I didn't like it when Undertaker kept coming back. I don't care that these people are legends. We should not be seeing them anymore. Their, their time is done. It was fine to see Taker on Raw 30. It was fine to see him on Raw 30 because because Raw 30 is where we celebrate the legends. Raw, when we celebrate legends, bring back legends when it's celebrate Legends Day. That's when you bring back legends. You don't bring them back for one-off matches like Goldberg and Trish and Lita. You don't you don't bring them back. You only bring back legends for celebrate Legends Day. That's when you bring back legends. But no. That's not how WWE operates. For some stupid reason we got to see Lita in the year of 2023. Thank God I'm fine. thank God I'm watching AEW. Thank God I'm I'm getting ready for New Japan to watch Mercedes Barnet's instant classic with Tyree. And thank God I'm going to be watching Impact for former WWE superstar Persia Parada, who'll be making her debut whenever Impact is on. I don't even remember what, when those day when that when it's on. And Dayana Perazzo, who is another one of the good things about Impact. I swear to God, what WWE does nowadays is just starting to lose my interest. Toxic Attraction breaking up on NXT? You cannot tell me it's a coincidence that they broke up Toxic Attraction right as Mandy Rose got released. You cannot tell me it's not a coincidence. As soon as Mandy Rose got released, Toxic at JC and Gigi are bickering and arguing and, and and now they're broken up. There's no way you can't convince me this is a legitimate shot at Mandy Rose. You can't say they, they did this just to... 
get rid of everything that associated with Mandy Rose. You cannot convince me otherwise. It was a clear, direct shot at Mandy Rose. They're like, what you created, we're gonna destroy it. GG and JC are stars, don't get me wrong, they have a bright future. But they're not gonna be headlining WrestleManias, are they? They're not gonna be headlining WrestleMania. Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair and Ronda Rousey will all be main eventing WrestleManias while well, they'll be in catering. And potentially in those stupid battle royals that they do every year. That's what JC and Gigi will be. Same thing with Roxanne and Cora J. They all may be stars, but as long as you can't get past the barrier of Becky, Bianca, Charlotte and Ronda, you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere. And that's the harsh truth. That is that that is the WWE barrier. You are a star, but if you but you cannot get past the deadly fall of Ronda, Bianca, Becky, and Charlotte. You are a star, but you can't be as bigger stars than them. You cannot be bigger stars than them. Those these four women that I those four women I just mentioned are the most protected women. And I love Charlotte. And I'm always open and honest when I speak about her. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy who tries to defend it. I always try to find the positives. I always try my best to find the positives and everything, but you can't. There is no positive to Lita being here. Damage control is pretty much dead and buried. It's pretty much about to become dead and buried. But Patrick, you never liked damage control, so why are you caring? Why are you caring? You never cared about damage control. Sure, I never cared about damage control, but did I say I want them buried? Did I ever once say I want to see this group fail? Did I ever say I want to see this group buried? If you're bringing back Trish and Lita, the only thing that you should be doing is having damage control defeat them. But this is the world of WWE. You can't have the legend lose. You can't have the one-off legends make comebacks and, 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 and ultimately lose. Yeah, Goldberg loses. That's Goldberg. He's a, he's a retired old codgel that should, should never come back into the ring anyway. But Trish and Lita? Nah. Lita lost to Becky Lynch. And Trish Gattis lost to Charlotte, man. Yeah, they lost to women that didn't need to be elevated. They lost to women that didn't need the extra elevation. People say, oh, the, the, these old veterans are great to help elevate the next generation. Did, what, well, what did Becky gain from last year beating Lita? What did Charlotte gain from beating Trish Stratus? Absolutely nothing. They gained nothing from beating them. Sure, Alexa Bliss could have gained something from beating Trish at Evolution, but unfortunately she got injured. But still, but still, I do not want to see these legends. I do not care about Bailey versus Lita. I personally don't care about Trish Stratus versus Sasha Banks. I don't care how much people want these matches. I do not care. Dream matches to me is Sasha versus Indy, versus Cora, versus Roxanne, versus Gigi, versus JC. Yeah, Sasha isn't in WWE anymore, but these are examples of dream matches that actually mean something. Dream matches of retired, re retired old codgers that need to stay retired aren't dream matches anymore. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of how WWE always treats their women's division. Instead of, instead of putting their attention on new women on the roster that could, you know, that need the experience, that need to be on TV. But now let's waste, but no, let's have, let's have wrestlers from the past take up TV time. I don't care if I upset people, but it's the threat. People's, people have always said that WWE should be focusing on the future of WWE and not bringing back these old retired wrestlers. 
But as I said, it only it only matters if it's Goldberg. It only matters when Goldberg is the one that comes walking out. It should matter for everybody. I don't care if you're Goldberg, Trish, Lita. It shouldn't matter. It should matter for everybody. I want Edge. To, I want Edge gone. I want Beth gone. I do not care about Edge. I don't care about Beth. I don't care about Lita. I don't care about Trish. I just don't care. I want these old retired codgers to retire and stay retired. Be a Batista! Be a Batista for God's sake! Do what Batista did! Say he have one more match and stay retired! People like Batista is who I respect. Who say that they are done and they don't come back. Be a Batista! Anyway, I'm done with this video. I'm so glad I'm watching other uh, other companies that actually respect women's wrestling and actually focus and actually focus on what's going on instead of bringing back old retired people that don't need to be there anymore. But thank you for listening in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up. Give me your thoughts and opinions down below, and I will see you all next time.